Just out prospecting over this way, behind this tree line, you have King Solomon Mines, Bluebell, Viva, bunch of minfowls, bunch of past producers. What we found here is about a 200 meter wide area where you have mineralization. We've chased this uphill for about 300 meters. Uh, we found an area almost in the center of this um, zone here. And we found a four meter plus wide area with calcopyrite, pyrite puritite, lots of malachite staining. And that is hosted in the same rock as you see right here, a limey scarn with epidote. So what I wanted to do is just walk along and sample some of these areas where you see mineralization. You can see the, the shears. Those all contain mineralization as well as your intrusive rock. So the shears consist of your scarn lenses and there are dozens exposed here. What I'm primarily seeing here, though, is pyrite. You can see pyrite along here. And these are lenses of pyrite with a bit of calcopyrite, puritite. A little bit of magnetite, too. So we're going to take a few samples off and just have a look at some of these mineralized areas. I'm noticing a lot of the rocks here are quite churdy like So here's an area I just hammered a piece off. You can see the pyrite, puritite, a bit of calcopyrite in there and I just pulled that off right here you can see this darker area here full of mineralization here's a sample of your intrusive rock you can see the mineralization fracture-filled and disseminated. From what I read in the reports, it essentially mimics sicker rocks or VMS-style deposition. However, there's been replacement and alteration, and you have scarn. And here is some massive sulfides coarse pyrite, some puritite, minor calcopyrite, minor magnetite. Another example of mineralization, your churdy rock. Here's a sample from another small lens. See again, semi-massive pyrite, puritite, bit of cocoa pyrite and magnetite. And this is from another one of these shears right here. Similar to that other one we sampled. There's another one right there. And there's about 10 more along here and about 10 more along that way. This continues all the way around the corner for 150 meters and this continues all the way off. Uh, there's bedrock in the ditch exposed over here and continues off the claim boundary. More your pyrotized intrusive. And you see the bottom here you have another lens 
mineralized pyrite, puritite, calcopyrite, and also a little bit of magnetite. following the whole bottom here. A couple more samples we pulled from another little lens. And another one. This one's primarily pyrite, puritite. Another example here of your churdy rock. You can see the sulfides, fracture filling, and disseminated. More sulfides in your intrusives. And again, you see all the sulfides all over the place. Sulfides. So this zone contains extensive mineralization. And we're gonna pull a couple more samples from this area over here. So you have mineralization in your gaussinous oxidized rock. We also have mineralization in the rock around the corner, which is not oxidized whatsoever. And you have more calcopyrite where there's less oxidation. So we're about 75 meters away from that lost spot down the road. Mineralization exposed in the bedrock here. You got samples all on this road. Sulfides throughout big boulders in the ditch. So this is about the edge of the claim right here. And this is all bedrock here. More mineralization from bedrock. See the pyrite, puritite, minor calcopyrite. Bit of magnetite too. So up here, the other day, below where that plane is, on strike of this, we found a four meter plus wide scarn lens with about 30 to 40 percent calcopyrite, some puritite, and a bit of pyrite in a epidote scarn, and it's following that tree line going back and in line with this zone that comes out on the road we already sampled. So we're walking back to the first area we were at. And what we're gonna do is drive around the corner a couple hundred meters, and we'll show you how far the mineralization extends widthwise. So we are 150 meters around the corner. You can see the Gaussian oxidation zone, and you have mineralization still in a lot of the fractures of the rock, you see the pyrite, calcopyrite, and puritite. Epidote with mineralization. So 
So pretty much all throughout here is mineralized. Got another lens here. See the lens of mineralization down here. Sulfides, you can see the sulfides here. So mineralization all throughout this rock as well, going around another 100 meters outside of what we call the green zone. So a nice wide zone of mineralization. We've got some nice chalcopyrite in a couple areas farther up. That's the zone. So I'm over a little bit from the area that's got no oxidation back into the oxidation zone, what we call the green zone. You can see why we call it that. You have limey epidote scarns and right about here that zone stops, the green zone, and then you have your intrusive rock and you have veins cutting across like this. And those veins have semi-massive sulfides. View from farther back, your limey scarn zone ends. Then you have a lens here, a lens there. Small lens there, another lens there, and I pulled a sample from the lens here. There's a couple more going downwards. And this is one of the samples. You have pyrite, puritite, minor calcopyrite. Mineralization appears to follow calcite. Last couple samples here. So that's this area here. 30 meter wide area with one, two, three, four, five, six different small little lenses up to about 10 centimeters wide. So it's the next day, decided to take a, a little hike uphill. The other side of that tree line, about 100 meters down, is the mineralized area which we showed yesterday. We're on strike. We actually hiked a couple areas. So we hiked up here this way, and then we hiked this way for about 500 meters, tracing your mineralized Gossens, as you can see down there. And we are at one of the areas where there's a pit and a four meter wide exposed showing. You can see this is your epidote scarns, limey epidote scarns. And here's some mineralization. You can see the calcopyrite there. These are all taken out of the, the pit. This is the pit here, pretty shallow, exposing four meters wide of mineralization. 
this is your contact right here and all this rock up here is a silicus churdy altered rock and uh, this is all your mineralized scarn zone exposed here and over there so just looking at a couple of these dump samples here so this is a mix of pyrite pyrite and calcopyrite if you take a look at this after a few days this oxidizes all iridescent looks very silvery right now here's a few of the, the samples just grabbing a few random ones from the the dump you can see malachite staining sulfides so lots of nice samples here in this little dump pile which is arguably only a few tons just enough to expose the mineralization inside the little pit there so we've actually chased this zone for about 500 meters now beginning on the other side of that tree line 100 meters down going that way about 300 meters and the zone is capped with your silicus rock with gaussins and then you have occasionally your limey epidote scarns peeking up at surface exposing a couple areas but uh, this mineralized zone surrounding this um, is quite wide down on the road there it's Two, 250 meters wide, traceable over at least 500 meters strike distance. So I just thought I'd show this little area here. Thanks for watching. More from here soon. Cheers.